How's your business responding in the face of the corona crisis? I had a friend reach out to me on LinkedIn last night, slightly concerned really for me and concerned that the social media updates I was putting out into the world were insensitive. I was being insensitive to the huge amounts of suffering that's going on in the world. What was I saying? What I always say. I was putting out the same posts about inclusive design, conversion rate optimization, user experience, digital transformation. I was doing nothing differently to my normal behavior. But I could see where my friend was coming from. In comparison to what other people were putting out on LinkedIn, my stuff seemed trivial and unimportant. They were putting out stuff about you know, how they were responding to the crisis, how they were helping other people, what they were doing to cope with home working, all of those kinds of things. And I have talked a little bit about that kind of stuff, but not as much as everybody else has. Everybody else seems fixated on talking about the coronavirus. And I understand that, I get that. And in some ways, rightly so. This is a huge pandemic and is absolutely horrendous. That, that yes, talking about inclusive design does seem trivial in comparison to the huge numbers of people dying. Yes, talking about conversion rate optimization seems insensitive when there are people being laid off. So why then am I taking this approach? I'm not saying that I've got it right, but my gut tells me that we need to carry on with business as usual. That that World War II poster that I actually have on my wall behind me here, which says, keep calm and carry on, is right. Because there's two sides to this pandemic. Yes, there is the horrendous cost of human life, which is truly terrible. But there's also the enormous economic impact that we haven't begun to fully experience yet, in part because of the great work governments are doing to support us. But we all need to do our part as well if this isn't going to turn into an economic depression, which could cause suffering for many, many years to come. We need, as businesses, to be spending. We need to be out there doing things. We need to be carry on as much as we possibly can with business as usual. But at the moment, it's like everybody is frozen in like a rabbit in the headlights of an oncoming car. We don't know what to do. We're panicky. We don't want to spend money because what if money doesn't come in? We just don't respond. And so all we do is talk about the coronavirus. And I get that. I do understand that. And I'm not in any way criticizing people that have done incredible stuff and, and are giving. There are some companies that are doing amazing work to, to support people through this really difficult time. But I don't think we should forget to carry on with business as usual, too, because if we do, the economic consequences of this are going to carry on for many years to come.